Brianna Stewart believes Iowa's Caitlin Clark needs national title to be considered the GOAT. Caitlin Clark has transformed women's college basketball in ways never seen before. Off the court, the Iowa Hawkeyes star guard has drawn in record-setting attendance records both at Carver Hawkeye Arena and on the road. She's broken every television record possible across several networks as recently displayed by the 12.3 million who watched her 41-point performance in the Elite Eight on Monday vs. LSU, which marked the most watched women's college basketball game ever. And on the court, well, the list is longer. Clark, the presumed number one overall pick in this month's WNBA draft, broke both Kelsey Plum and Lynette Woodard's NCAA Division I women's all-time scoring record and Pete Maravich's NCAA Division I scoring record in a span of roughly three weeks. She holds the NCAA record for most three-pointers in a season, the Big Ten record for career three-pointers and has scored the most points in a single season in NCAA Division I women's basketball history. Required reading what channel is March Madness on today? Final four times, TV schedule for women's NCAA tournament games. This week she won both the Naismith Player of the Year and AP Player of the Year awards for the second consecutive season. She's the first player ever in either men's or women's college basketball to have over 3,000 points, 1,000 assists and 850 rebounds in a career. But is that enough to etch her name as one of the greatest of all time in women's college basketball? Some may think so, but UConn and WNBA forward Brianna Stewart told Nicole Auerbach during an appearance on College Sports on Sirius XM she doesn't think so. Why? Clark doesn't have a national championship on her resume. Yeah, she does, need a title. I think so, Stewart said. You are going to look 10 years back and you are going to see all the records that she has broken, points and stuff like that, but anybody knows your goal when you play college basketball is to win a national championship. So you need one. Earlier this week on ESPN's Get Up, former UConn and WNBA star forward Rebecca Lobo who will be calling Friday's Final Four alongside Ryan Ruocco and Holly Rowe called Clark the best offensive player that she's seen in 30 years but agreed with Stewart that Clark can't be the greatest of all time as she hasn't won multiple national championships like players such as Stewart and Candace Parker have. She is the best offensive player that I've ever seen at least in the last 30 years that I've been either playing or calling women's college basketball games, but, when you get into the GOAT conversation, does she need to win a national championship in order to be considered the GOAT? I don't think so. I think she needs to win multiple national championships to be in that kind of a conversation, Lobo said. Required reading Did UConn recruit Caitlin Clark? Gino Orima passed over Iowa's star for Paige Bukers. Because when you look at the history of the game, Candace Parker won two championships at Tennessee, Diana Taurasi won three championships at UConn. Brianna Stewart won four championships, at UConn, not only won four national championships but she, also, was the most outstanding performer in those final fours. Caitlin is an incredible player. She has done more in terms of bringing attention and eyeballs to the women's game than any other player we have seen, that's a mere fact. But when you want to talk about the GOAT conversation and you add championships to the mix of it, you have to understand the history of the game.